guys got another quick video here for you this one was mentioned by someone on my forum yesterday on how to set the priority for a process in Windows and make it stay there uh, the problem is with Windows uh, you can't do that in Windows and I'll show you what I mean when we right click on the uh, bottom taskbar here and hit task manager this opens up our uh, task manager box here and uh, once we uh, come to the processes tab up here we look for a process that we want to actually set a higher priority for and uh, this is higher CPU priority and uh, what we're going to do is right click on Firefox come down to uh, set priority and as you can see it's set to normal now if I wanted to go above normal or high we can do that that's not a problem but the problem is when I reboot the system this setting will now go back to default on normal and this can be um, quite a pain I'm going to show you a free tool that you can actually use to actually get around this okay so let me just show you the actual website it's called Prio or Prio I should say I think that's how you pronounce it and uh, this is a free tool to actually use you just download it come to the download tab here and what that's going to do is give you uh, some extra options on the actual task manager and you can download 64-bit and 32-bit versions here for Windows 7 as well I've already got mine downloaded so I'm going to quickly install it I'm going to go next here and just quickly install this and it'll ask to reboot so I'm going to reboot now ok we just let this boot up Okay, so we're at the desktop now so what I'm going to do is right click on the taskbar and hit start task manager and you'll see some immediate changes to the actual task manager there's a little tab up the top here saying Prio and also a TCP IP tab and there's also some uh, green back in here which uh, lightens up the actual uh, processes and services and, and whatnot and gives you a bit of information there so uh, what we want to do here is look at the actual process now because I've installed the program you'll see it's now changed some of this it says set CPU priority and uh, it's now stuck on high and that's because I set it on high and then I installed the program so it's allowing my changes to be set in stone now without that program being installed what would have happened is that would revert back to revert back to normal there so now we can actually make uh, priority changes to our processes that we want to give the most CPU uh, usage to okay now be careful when you're doing this because this can uh, render the system unstable and uh, you've got to be a bit careful when you're doing that okay so don't go and giving everything uh, super duper high and all this sort of stuff you know because what's going to happen is it will make the system uh, unstable okay there was another thing there that we had a look at which was a uh, silent uh, elevation and what that does is basically uh, gives you administration privilege privileges on the user account so the UAC account you'd have to see that little box and say yes to that with silent uh, elevation what it does is you can actually set it so uh, you don't see that box anymore but it doesn't uh, make a hole in your security by turning off UAC so this UAC part here if you turn that off what's going to happen is you won't get the box anymore but then also you're disabling the security where this allows it to bypass uh, any sort of uh, software with administration administration rights that you need okay so that's being said let's have a look at the TCP IP bit this is another useful uh, tab that is added which gives you all your network um, that's going in and out on your system and also all the ports uh, that are closed and open and stuff like that and you can see what's being accessed on the net so it's pretty useful we've got another tab up here with some other bits and pieces here um, but you can have a little play around on that but that's basically how you uh, get the priority uh, set for the process uh, I hope it helps you out my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.